So my question is going to be what this project means to you because at the age of 15, when you lived in a small country, Japan, your dream was becoming a special makeup artist in Hollywood. Your dream came true on your 20s and left this film industry six years ago and then came back for this project. So this project brought you back to the film industry and brought your first Oscar. So what this project means to you and then what your first Oscar means to you at this timing of your career. Right. Uh, if you prefer, you can answer in Japanese. Or okay. Yeah, uh, I think it's uh, really important the timing wise because uh, I left the film industry and Gary asked me to design this. And really like everything came together in a great timing. And I met David and Lucy and they are really special. And I never worked with any s such a talent before. And, um, and also, I learned a lot from, through this project because uh, almost it's uh, really what I learned is uh, the people, how, m how much people care about and how, how, how much they love about their job. And I kind of realized and kind of uh, it was a really special project, and uh, it's a bit because it's such a great talent came to one show, and we did we made an amazing film, and we, I think we made the history. So it's really meaningful to me. Um, so there are very few Asians uh, nominated at this year's Academy Award. I think you're the only one, and you're the winner as well. How does that feel? Uh, I don't want to think about I'm an Asian. I'm just doing what I love to do. So I, I, I hope everybody feels that way because it's, uh, as soon as we start to think what the race we are, uh, it's not good. It doesn't work that well. So, yeah. You know, Gary Oldman says, look at me. What do you think of Winston Churchill? And of course, we all laugh. At what point did you all think, we know we're good, but we've pulled it off. He, look, look at him. We've pulled it off. Um, I think it was the final test day that we did back in London. Kazuya had already designed the makeup and done five tests in LA. And he brought the makeup to London to hand over to myself and Lucy. And it was during those two weeks where we tweaked the makeup, we finessed it, and we got it to what you see on the screen today. You know, it was that very final day that Joe, Gary, the producers, signed the makeup off and said, that's what we want, the darkest hour. And what was your reaction? You look at him and, is, <clears throat> and you believed it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I do believe it. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I do believe that it's um, an outstanding makeup and, um, and the feedback we've had from everybody else has been superb. So, uh, you know, I hope everybody likes what they see on screen today. Yeah. <laughs> Thank um, you. I don't know if you were aware, but uh, on the red carpet, they were showing the video of Gary dancing to James Brown while he oh, was yeah, in, his, in his full outfit and his full makeup. Um, and I just wondered if you could talk a little bit about the relationship that you three had with him, um, because it seemed to be a very warm bond between all of you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I met Gary on a previous job. Um, and I think one of the main reasons, other than you know he liked the work I did with him, was that we just got on so well together. Our personality is very similar. Um, we like to joke, mess around, but we also have you know an eye for detail. We we both want the best of whatever we do. So, um, and then you add to that mix Lucy, um, who's again <laughs> very similar sense of humour to myself and Gary. So you can imagine that we spend four hours on a makeup bus every day for three or four months. It's, um, it's going to get a little bit insane at times. So, uh, you know, Gary likes to dance around. He likes to um, sing. He likes to chat, tell stories. And, you know, we like to do the same. I think, um, you know, we've just got a brilliant sense of humour between all of us. I don't know if you want to add anything, Lucy. Do you want to add something? <laughs> he's got so many characters inside his body, so he's always doing different impressions. Yeah, he's always doing impressions. He, he does a good De Niro, for example. Yeah. I won't do it now, because that would be terrible. 
he does a good Christopher Walken, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and he does an extremely good Winston Churchill, more importantly. So uh, um, fingers crossed for Gary tonight.